I'm going DMR. How about you? Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you this new Baofeng radio. This particular one is the DM1701, and it is a DMR Tier 2 radio. Now, if you're new to amateur radio or you're new to DMR, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that as we get into it in part of this unboxing. Because again, remember, it's, this is more so about my ramblings than what's in the box. It just so happens that I'm sharing that in context of my rambling. So let's jump into it. So inside the box, you obviously get a nice little booklet. Uh, I've read the booklet already. Not too bad. Probably let's spin this around so you can see this the right way. And uh, here's the radio. The radio actually feels very nice. Um, it does feel better than my uh, other Baofeng. And let's see, so we got the radio and we have the battery down here. And if we take the battery out, let's see what we got in the battery. Now naturally this is a dual band VHF, UHF, um, you know, 400 to 470, 136 to 174. So, and it does have a 220 milliamp year, uh, 7.4 volt lithium ion battery that slides in. And let's see how this is. Oh, this kind of tilts in. There we go. Now, again, with the button, I, you know, I, I've read some complaints online. Now, this one is a little bit more easier. You just pop, touch it, and it pops it off. And it does have screws back here for the belt clip. I probably won't be a belt clip user. I'm not a big belt clip kind of guy. Um, comes with the lanyard programming cable, which is nice. And it also comes with the obligatory cheap headset, which I've bought actually a mic for. We got the charger, bell clip, and base that the unit sits in. Oh, almost forgot the worthless rubber ducky antenna. The one thing I've read about the Baofangs is the antennas are crap. So I have purchased new antennas for both of my Baofangs. Um, so now one of the things I want to spend a moment talking about as the box falls over I want to spend a moment talking about DMR so because one of the things is a new amateur I was really confused about DMR um, I work in the IT field I work in the IT communications field and I made some wrong assumptions about DMR so one of the things I thought is if I bought a radio like this uh, 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 Bofang F8HP that which is an analog radio that I could talk to a digital hotspot and the digital hotspot would actually um, convert my analog signal to a digital signal and you know in other words you know do a VoIP conversion or voice over IP conversion that is not the right answer so basically with a DMR unit it has to talk digital so the conversion happens here in the radio and the digital information or your voice as a digital information is transferred to the hotspot and then sent out over the internet and vice versa the digital information from the internet is sent to the radio and the radio does the bulk of that work i did not know that and that's where the various cheering so this is a tier two radio so tier one tier two so it's both analog and digital uh, this was a hundred bucks now when i looked around for cheap DMR, um, this was the cheapest I found. Uh, there was like an Anytone for 158, and there were a couple other options that ranged upwards from like 158 to 200 to 500, and again, got rather expensive from there. Now, one of the things, I don't know if I'm gonna like DMR. I don't know if I'm gonna like digital radio. I think I am. This is one of the things that really uh, kind of got my attention because again, I really don't want to, to focus on HF. I don't wanna put up big antennas. And again, I'm not knocking it. If it's your thing, go for it. Uh, you know, it's cool stuff, but again, um, you know, I'm getting up there in age. I don't want to be climbing big towers and things like that. And I know there's many different options to do antennas, but I really like the idea of, hey, just um, keying this guy up and talking to Australia. Yes, I've been there. It's a great place. And that's what I want to be able to do. And I want to have it easy. I want to have fun. 
Um, just like uh, I think is what is it Eric over at uh, you know Ham Concepts keeps saying is you know let's have fun with this you know let's not worry about emergencies all the time because the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is emergencies. Uh, I, I'm involved in the cellular community from a carrier perspective somewhat, mostly on the IoT side. But the one thing I can share with you is is mobile. Um, mobile towers and, and that have become so prevalent during emergencies they're very easy to deploy so you know uh, within hours after you know an emergency is over uh, you know they can deploy these towers now again the thing is what do you do you know during this time or during the time of the emergency when they can't deploy the towers you know so yeah radio does work out so I, I'm not I'm not all negative on that either but again I think Eric does a very good job putting it in perspective um, because to me, and this is again my opinion with amateur radio, it's really about furtherment of the technology. Because I think over the years, if you look at the folks who have been amateur radio operators, uh, you know, we're really standing on some probably shoulders of giants that have, you know, developed a lot of new technology. And that is a technician's class operating in the VHF UHF region is really the future for communications. And that's what I want to focus on. Uh, building different aspects of as, as a hobby, um, maybe growing it into a hobby business as many you know have done in this space, selling antennas, things like that. Uh, I've already got plans for a number of antenna designs, uh, satellite tracking mounts and things like that. And DMR is also one of those things on my list. But again, I want to play with it first. I want to see if I like it. Does it excite me? If it doesn't excite me, I don't want to drop a whole bunch of money and then have to give it away for pennies on the dollar at some swap meet. So again, that's why I picked this guy up. Um, there, and I also know there's a lot of different versions of DMR out there. So, you know, there's, uh, you know, Fusion and DMR and, you know, the list sort of goes on and on, you know, for the various vendors have kind of come up with their own version. And I know one particular hotspot vendor is working on a way to kind of bridge all those. I'm not so sure that's a good idea because of some of these vendors and the people that buy the product sort of look at it as a bit of a club. And I think they have a right to do that and to bridge them. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm not I'm not here to make a judgment call on that, but I think it's something to to think about before doing that. So uh, I think there's enough in the generic DMR uh, for this Baofeng to just have a lot of fun with. So that's my intent. So hopefully I've shared a little bit with you guys. If you have some uh, suggestions on DMR, you know, what are some good reflectors? What are some good rooms? You know, where should I start hanging out at? at? Um, who should I talk to? Those type of things. Hit me up in the comments below. That's one of the reasons I'm doing these videos because I do a number of YouTube channels. They're usually they're, they're a maker type focused. That's why DIY3DTech.com. And um, I love learning from you guys. So you guys as a collective whole know far more than I will ever know or any single person can know. So it's a great resource. And then I'm hoping to also give back to the community because this is really... I think something that's important to do is, is give back. So anyways, I'll have links to this down below if you're interested to it on Amazon. Again, I love purchasing things from, things from Amazon. If it's broken, if there's a problem, Amazon's always been great to take it back. So I uh, like getting stuff there. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to work on you know at least semi-regular content and getting it out. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about something else cool. Cheers.